growing up was, um, I'd say, fairly easy. Um, no major issues. Um, I'd say, you know, I had a fairly good upbringing. We enjoyed, you know, quite a lot of good things. Not, not really much to, to comment in the way of uh, anything negative in terms of, of, of an upbringing. So, so, yeah, I'd say a good upbringing. So I think that was around probably the age of, to be honest, probably around the age of about 15. Um, and, and and that would have been cigarettes. And the reason I say that is, um, which might be surprising, is that it's, uh, it's something that I felt uh, I did almost to fit in. Um, and, and that was, you know, maybe where I felt that there was something missing or I was trying to make up for something or um, so, so in some ways I, I think that was the starting point although uh, obviously that is legal technically or maybe not 15 but uh, but yeah so so around that age Yeah, so from there, um, it was pretty much just alcohol, um, and then I, I think, I think around the age of sixteen, I first tried coke. Uh, I definitely enjoyed that. Uh, I think I found I, I had a real thing for for uppers. You know that they seemed to really do something for me. I don't know if that was to do with the confidence or or, or what it gave, but um, but yeah, that's that was something that really appealed for me. Yeah, I think it's a difficult one that um, the lines are very blurred. Um, it's it, it's always a case that you think I've got this under control. I've got this under control, you know, um, and it, it's it's often not. And it's only with hindsight you see, ah, I didn't have control. So it's just very difficult to see when it's a problem. I mean, the general rule of thumb is if it's, you know, affecting other areas of your life, then, you know, it's a problem and, and, and you're addicted, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think that probably, that for me, it started probably around college age. Um, I, I was smoke, just smoking weed then, but, you know, I, just, I, was, I was, yeah, I just not, not attending uh, lessons, just, just smoking weed. And, and, yeah, obviously it didn't go well from there, so... So yeah, that was wasn't the best start. Yeah, so that didn't come till many many years later. Um, there there was a long long time of um, of after dropping out of college, not doing anything. There was a long time of, of coke abuse in there. <clears throat> And then I think uh, at one point or another, uh, crack came into the equation, and the two kind of go hand in hand. Um, and uh, I, I'd say it's probably it's it's always a case. It's a uh, a, a social thing, you know. If if, it's, if you're around the kind of people um, that are doing that, they're going to have that. Um, and I say the two kind of go hand in hand. So, so uh, yeah, I think that was. That was probably not until around age 25. It was a strange one. Um, there were some some people. I, I was living in in a shared house, some type of shared accommodation, and some people came round um, and. Uh, and yeah, I, 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 um, I think I got robbed sort of <laughs> to a certain degree. Um, but yeah, I, I, I managed, I, th I think I ended up putting in about a hundred pounds or something and I, I maybe got 20 pounds worth or, or, or something. Um, but yeah, I remember, I remember, yeah, just thinking, yes, it's, it's, it's kind of like Coke. Um, but, but yeah, it's just a bit stronger, I guess.
yeah it it was strange um it was uh, yeah it, it was a bit of a jump for sure um yeah it's it, it's not good i mean a lot of people say a lot of people will always say oh it's got a reputation but it's you know it's it's just it's essentially just the same um there is a reason it has a reputation you know coke will destroy your life um that will just that much faster once when i was um i was working for a company uh i'd actually been awake i was working night shifts so i used to work from 7 p.m till 7 a.m and when i got in at 7 p.m all the bosses above me had gone already <clears throat> so I, I was kind of like the highest in command and i was just relieve, relieving the other supervisor that was in charge um so and that was a pretty heavy time um of, of, of coke use for me uh, and I, I'm, I, I, I so i used to sit there and basically just do this 12-hour shift and then out the toilets and out the toilets yeah. but just sat at a desk mm -hmm. so then as soon as i as soon as i um had finished work and and got out i just wanted to go out and do something because i had all this energy built up and and before i knew it it's seven o'clock and i've got to go back to work and this went on and on and then it got to like the fifth day and and I walked into the office and I, I said hi to someone. I said, "Is, is it smoky in here?" Mm -hmm. And they said, "No." And I, I was just I, I was just hallucinating. It just looked hazy. The whole room just looked like it was filled with smoke. Yeah, yeah, lack of sleep, no doubt, absolutely. Um, this literally <clears throat> literally was the fifth day, and. Of all the, of all the days, my boss had stayed in late to to have a chat with me that day, um, and yeah, that that was difficult. That was very difficult, very interesting. I actually then fell asleep later on in that shift as well after they'd gone, and and one of the team that I was supposed to, I was supposed to be supervising had to wake me up and kind of make sure I was okay. It's, it's just again it's part and part of the lifestyle you know it becomes it, it was a daily thing uh, me and my girlfriend at the time we would get up from wherever we'd slept the night before uh, we were both on and off either in hostels or homeless or whatever um, and we'd go out and we'd just you know look for opportunities you know that there, there we used to do all kinds of silly things really I probably shouldn't talk about but um, but yeah uh, eventually it, it ended up uh, in a situation where um where yeah I, I was in a house um and and, and yeah I subsequently got uh, found that was evidence of fingerprints etc um and yeah and that, that didn't go well from there Uh, so it was okay. Um, it's 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 long. It's difficult. Um, it's but it, it it's bearable. You know, th this is the thing that that I think su surprised me the most about prison is that um, you you th you think going there would you, you think going there your life that's it your life stops your life ends. It doesn't. It just it takes on a new form for a while. You know, you you have things that you know you look forward to you have in your day you know or in your week even you know your, your your canteen your bits of food or whatever that's coming and you know you have little or you know there might be like burger and chips on the menu on a friday or you know or just you know association time where you go and do whatever you know you you have little things you you adjust is what i'm saying you know you have highs and lows um but you're just living essentially it's not like a daily drag of you know, you forget it's 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 your home. It becomes your home. Yeah. So so when I first started, um, I didn't deal well with it. To be honest, um, although it was needed, um, 
I just yeah it, that was a long time a long time to have ahead of me uh, and I was in the middle of the settling in period and just yeah it, it was it was difficult um so uh, the drug that was about a lot then I don't, I don't know if I'm sure it probably still is now was spice um so I ended up smoking some of that and um uh yeah it, it's that's that's just a hell of a drug it, it it just completely blows your mind you don't even really know where you are you can't focus on anything you know you, you try and look at you try and watch the tv and you're looking at it but you just cannot percept just the voices nothing like it's just uh, yeah it's it absolutely just melts your brain uh, but it, again it is very addictive um and so, so yeah, I, I had a habit on that for a while. I think for a good three, four months on that. Uh, and yeah, it was very easy to get. Very easy. We, we um, it used to be um, what they call spice paper. So people uh, would write a, write some write in a letter. They'd get the spice uh, uh, chemical powder, obviously mix it with water, spray it onto the the paper, and just send it in in the mail. Uh, and then it gets sold fifty pounds for uh, for an ID card's worth, so a, so a credit card size sheet of um, sheet of spice. And then you know you rip off maybe a tiny little bit like that into a few pieces, put it in a roll up, and there you go. There's your there's your spice. But yeah, that was not good. Um, yeah, I, I think that kind of helped me deal with what I had going on at the time. So, no, I didn't personally. Uh, I think I was quite lucky too. Um, it seems, I'd say in this country, uh, it's it's quite lax compared to, 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 you know, say America or some other countries like that. You know, if you, if you just keep yourself to yourself, you know, keep your head down, you know, you, you find your place essentially and, and, you know, everyone's got their own little thing going on, you know, so no one wants to, to be too disturbed in doing that thing um so so they're usually more worried about their own business than you know anyone else uh, but yeah you do see it uh, it's usually it's usually drug or debt related um not i can th- it it gets not that i can think of anything other than you, you just you you hear it more than anything you you hear you just hear the, the the alarm going off you hear the rush of people and by the time you've rushed to get there you, there's just a bunch of people looking and you don't something's happened but it's just usually a scuffle so so i i personally didn't witness anything major I think people were from all over the place. I think they, they ship people up and down quite a lot. Um, it, it's not as, again, it's, it's quite different from other countries from what I've seen and heard. Uh, it's not so much groups of this people here and those people here, you know, everyone just kind of mixes. Um, it's, it's, um, it's surprisingly n- normal, actually, <laughs> you know, the kind of you know the, the everyday life the conversations you know you know just talking to it, it's it's not it's yeah it's very strange I, and i don't think all countries are like that mm-hmm. I, I think certainly american jails are, are a lot worse I mean, I don't know how how the media depicts it. Really, to be honest, I mean, I, I, they do say it's 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 quite easy. I probably tend to agree with that. You know, you you can have quite an easy life in there. Um, you know, you can have as much you know nice food as you want, chocolate, biscuits, crisps, sweets, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you can get a play, PlayStation or an Xbox, only PlayStation 2 or an Xbox 360 and buy games for all that. Um, so you can do all that. Um, it's, yeah, it's obviously you have TV, you can get a radio, you can get a stereo, you can order as much music as you want. Um, yeah, it's there's a lot to do, but 
um considering it's you know it is what it is really so but yeah so so yeah i, I think the media are quite right to say that it, it's it's quite easy and the food's pretty decent as well actually yeah I would, you know uh, yeah uh, yeah the food i mean i want to say pretty decent again from an expectation that it would be really bad it was yeah it, it, was, it was it was actually quite good I just decided, you know, that enough was enough, really. Um, I can't remember the exact day. I don't think there was ever an exact day. It, it was more of a seed of an idea that grew. Um, I remember thinking about university and how I wish I'd done that. And um, and that was really tough, actually. It was really, really tough. So, so yeah, I, I started doing some open university work um i worked towards that uh it was actually the it was actually the, around that time that i actually submitted my first application to do that that i actually stopped smoking the spice um and yeah that was yeah that that was the beginning of that so that that was the initial motivation that was the initial starting point you know i just thought you know let, 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 let's do something with this It's difficult for me obviously i have a lot of social anxiety anyway so i tend to just keep myself to myself um but yeah th there has been temptations um and there have been issues uh, and I, I take those as, as they come and i deal with them um but yeah it, it is something that's very very common for sure It's one of those things that it, it's obviously when you're on drugs, it's a lot easier just because you don't care. Basically, you don't care about anything. So it, it's very easy to, to you know, not care. Um, and therefore, you, you're not anxious. Um, so, yeah, being being sober, that, that's that's one of the hardest things, actually, is dealing with that. I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd again probably just, just you know, put it out there that if, if anyone's, you know, struggling with any issues or, you know, related to drugs or alcohol or whatever it may be, you know, it might be that, you know, you just smoke a spliff, um, but you can't stop smoking it or it's causing a problem some other other way, you know, reach out, just get to a meeting. You'll be surprised. You really will. I mean, uh, I remember the first meeting I ever went to, um, I sat there and, it, you know, people went around the room and introduced themselves and, and you know, they told stories and each one and, and the first person told stories, I was, I was like, wow, you know, and, and it just, it, it, it was really, obviously I can't go into too much detail, but it was related to social anxiety. Yeah. And, and up until that point, I, I was the only person in my life that I knew that felt the way I did, yeah. um, you know, and that was just one kind of area of my life. And then the next person yeah talked about something and each person went around the room I was like, I was like wow it's like these they're tell literally telling my story yeah. 